it's not just the mentors that are distilling wisdom to the mentees, but it, it is a back and forth process, right? And I, I know that's something that you're really passionate about. So how do you see that mentorship program? How has it led to, because I, I think you, you ha you've had several cohort, cohorts already. How have you seen that kind of come to play with helping um, not only uh, people go into the superintendent position, but actually be successful? Because I think it's one thing to accept the job, but it's another thing to actually be really good at it. How has that mentorship program really kind of helped facilitate that process? So it's, it's really neat because what happens is with um, the mentor and, and, and mentees and the entire cohort, it becomes like a network. Mm -hmm. And you know how important networks are. Oh. So um, and then, you know, we we offer guidance and we, you know, we, we tell our, our aspiring uh, Latino superintendents, if you are going to an interview, feel free to reach out to us mm -hmm. and we'll be happy to to do a mock interview or, you know, whatever you need. Um, and then stay connected, stay connected with the your cohort with your mentors, with all the guests that we bring, because they all uh, give them their, their contact information. They say, if you ever need something, reach out right. to me. Um, so that whole, it's, it becomes a really big na uh, national network. And then, of course, we tell them, stay connected through your, your state and right. your national associations. Because you need, you need to be connected. This is, I mean, it could be a lonely uh, job, but mm -hmm. that's if you make it lonely, you know, if you surround yourself with others, it's not so lonely. Well, it's, it's funny because when I first became a uh, principal, that that felt like such an isolating position, right? Because and even more so in the superintendent position, right? Because way fewer superintendents than there are administrators and there are teachers. Uh, you kind of feel like you're on an island that when you make a decision is, you know, all eyes on you. and yeah the reason I actually started connecting through social media kind of connecting was to do exactly what you said was to network was to connect with people and to kind of find out like, Hey, is this thing I'm doing crazy or does this make sense? And sometimes you're like, no, no, no. Like, here's what I would do. Here's some of this. And like, or sometimes I get, no, no, do not do that. Which was also helpful too. Right. And that to me is such an important aspect of it because Sometimes when people get into roles, they're ready to accept the role, but they don't necessarily thrive because they don't reach out after. And when I moved to Florida, a, a friend of mine said, I asked him how he met so many people. And he said this, and it really shifted how I look at my time here. He said, I made it my business to, me to meet these people. And I, I really try to do that, make different connections when I'm here, learn from different people. Um, and you know, not always do exactly what they say, but learn from their experience. And I, I felt that when I first started admin, it accelerated, um, my knowledge because I had years and years of experience to tap into. So I, I love that program.